So, hello to everyone. Today we're going to present to you our poster of our PBL project. So, how it was started? Uh, we're going to talk about some several aspects, how it was started, what we do it, why we do it, and what we have achieved. So, uh, first of all is AIM. Our aim is to increase our awareness on intercultural competence based on PBL and create appropriate ELT classes. The main data. First is individual find out critical incidents and compare with our peers. Second one is we select group members. And the third one is all group members have found a reliable course book after analyzing we have decided to follow structure of this course book. Uh, so, uh, I'm going uh, to give information about purpose of, of our project work, why we did it, uh, what are the main reasons. Purpose of the project is uh, uh, trying to show misunderstanding between uh, two different uh, cultures uh, and uh, of course improve students' awareness on cultural misunderstanding, uh, achieve successful collaboration uh, and provide uh, appropriate uh, ESL course book to students. So uh, let's uh, overview our uh, students' course book and teachers' course book. Our students' course book provides accurate information that is understandable for students and ideas are completely discussed in all sections. Uh, the sequence of content is well organized, uh, logical and clear. Also, we have added many pictures regarding the text that uh, promote students' questions. Uh, uh, we all know that uh, without any necessary, uh, students will not be motivated to learn. So textbook includes, includes many real, inf uh, real life examples that are necessary to students in the future. So um, <clears throat> we have tried to uh, add all our uh, creativity and uniqueness. Uh, okay, and our third step is visual part. In our students' book, we used attractiveness, uh, colorful pictures related to text, uh, and um, support with PPT presentation, uh, and uh, use uh, supplementary aid as use YouTube video for um, understanding uh, students more uh, information uh, and uh, that's all. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about uh, the state of teamwork. Actually, uh, we have learned a lot from this project work about spirit of unity, integration, how to um, make good collaboration, how to resolve conflicts uh, when they arise. Of course, there were co any, uh, some conflicts. And uh, um, we have realized, realized importance of uh, important skills as group work, uh, responsibility in our know, autonomous learning, self-assessment skills, uh, peer assessment. Um, 
we have tried to uh, motivate each other to do to do our best of course uh, time management was also a significant part of our project uh, we had um, deadlines in order to finish our project work in time uh, <clears throat> Uh, and I can uh, definitely say that uh, this, uh, after this project-based uh, learning, we have increased our problem-solving uh, abilities, self-confidence, and uh, creativity. <clears throat> of course, there were some uh, challenges, like uh, problems with internet connection, um, uh, our uh, time schedule, were not uh, similar, so it was uh, sometimes problem to have meetings. But um, <clears throat> but uh, we have tried and do our best. <laughs>